Hi everybody, welcome to Sukhvibes. In this video, we are going to cover nine questions related to road markings, which falls under the main topic of road system and use. And also we will cover three questions related to road usage. Without wasting any time, let's begin. We are starting with road markings. You are approaching the vehicles in this picture. What do you do? Let's enlarge the image. And what we see there is a tractor carrying tanker. And we see it is moving on the right hand shoulder. But what we see here, this right hand shoulder is about to end because you can see from this marking. It means that we have to closely watch for this tractor. In case the tractor wants to come into our lane, we should be careful accordingly because this road, right hand shoulder, is about to end. It is indicated by this sign over here. So, what we have to do when the truck and trailer are indicating left, Flash your headlights and proceed at a brisk space. No, you should not do that. Watch if truck and trailer remains on the hard shoulder. I don't know why they are calling it truck and trailer. To me, it seems to be tractor. Just write in comment section what you think. For me, it is a tractor and there is a tanker. Yeah. Watch if the truck and trailer remains on the hard shoulder. Yeah, this is important because you have to watch this vehicle carefully if it remains on the hard shoulder. Allow the truck and trailer to enter the roadway when it indicates left. Yes, because as we can see, this right hand shoulder is about to end. So you have to be careful. Caref be careful watching this tractor with the trailer. And when it wants to come over here in this lane indicating left, then you have to give space for this tractor to enter into your lane. So this option also seems to correct. Let's check the answer. Our answer is correct. When driving on main roads, which vehicle must use the hard shoulders where possible. Small engine motorcycles, no. Mopeds, of course, because normally the mopeds has maximum speed like 25 km per hour. So they should use hard shoulder. Slow moving agriculture tractors and machinery. Yes, agriculture tractors and machinery, slow moving vehicles, they also use hard shoulder. The main idea over here is you should not create hindrance to the other traffic. All those vehicles which are moving slowly, they have to use hard shoulder when possible. Let's check the answer. The answer is correct. What do you have to be aware of in this traffic situation? So what we see, there's a tractor. Again, it's carrying some tanker. But we see over here, there's a continuous line, the solid white line. The first thing is you should not cross this solid line. This is the first thing. Let's look at the options. I may not cross the lane marking. Yes, you cannot cross the lane marking. I may cross the lane marking in order to overtake. No, you cannot cross the lane marking. I may cross the lane marking if oncoming traffic permits this. No, this option is also wrong. You can only cross if this line is broken. But since it's a continuous line, you cannot cross the lane marking. Let's check our answer. Our answer is correct. Moving towards the next question. You want to park on the right hand side edge of the carriageway. How big is the mandatory minimum distance between your vehicle and the solid lane boundary line? So this you have to cram actually. Whenever you want to park on the right hand side edge of carriageway, the mandatory distance between your vehicle and the solid lane boundary is three meters. This you have to learn. We have already done this question in the numerical section, but somehow it's cramming. There's nothing to understand. I mean, this is the rule. Our answer is correct. What must you be aware of here? So what we see here, there is a hard shoulder. Then there is a solid lane boundary. Let's look at the options. It is not permitted to stop to the left of the boundary line of the carriageway. Yes, it is not permitted to stop on the left, but you can always stop or park on the right hand side of this carriageway. So this is correct. Slow moving vehicles must use hard shoulder if possible. Yes, slow moving vehicles such as agriculture tractors or mopeds, which have maximum speed of like 25 km per hour, they should use hard shoulder if possible in order to avoid hindrance to the other traffic. Driving across the boundary line of the carriageway is prohibited at all the times. No, this is not prohibited. If this line is broken, then you are always allowed to pass through it. Let's check the answer. Our answer is correct. Moving towards the next question. What are you allowed to use the right hand hard shoulder for? For overtaking? No. For overtaking, you should not use this hard shoulder. Stopping and parking? Yes, you can use. Driving with slow vehicles? Of course, it makes sense in order to avoid hindrance to the other traffic. Let's check the answer. Our answer is correct. You want to overtake. What is the right thing to do? So what we see here, 
that there is a cyclist in front of us and on our side this line is broken but on the other side this line is continuous so what you have to take care of like you can overtake this cyclist of course but you have to be sure that you are not causing any danger to the oncoming traffic which is using this lane let's look at the options i may not overtake no you can overtake why because there is a broken line on your side i may overtake yes you can overtake i may only overtake if i remain in the right hand lane while doing so this is going to be very dangerous i mean it can cause accident because if you are going to use this lane if you want to overtake and you are going to stay in the right hand lane then there will be not a sufficient distance between you and the cyclist so the correct option is i may overtake let's look at the answer our answer is correct what do you have to observe in a traffic situation like this so what we see here there is a motorcyclist and there is a person i mean he is just pushing the motorcycle and what we see there is a broken line what does it mean that we can overtake the person but we have to be sure that we are not causing any danger to the oncoming traffic let's look at the options i may cross the center line in order to overtake yes you may cross i may not cross the center line if this would endanger other traffic yes you have to be very careful because if you want to overtake this person you have to always keep a sufficient distance in order to do so you have to move towards the left hand lane but an important thing to keep in mind is that you should not cause any danger to the oncoming traffic cross the center line in order to pass by the obstruction yes you can cross the center line as well our answer is correct moving towards the last question what must you be aware of on this priority road on this priority road what we see there is a solid line it means you are not allowed to cross this line and then there is a tractor in front of you parking is prohibited yes parking is prohibited if this priority road is outside you may not cross the lane marking yes you may not cross it parking is permitted if there is a clear space of at least 3 meter between a parked car and the lane marking no this rule doesn't hold if the priority road is outside it means parking is prohibited and you not you may not cross the lane marking these are the correct options let's look at the answer our answer is correct now moving towards the next sub topic which is road usage here we have only three questions which motor vehicles may freely choose their lane inside built up areas so all the motor vehicles with a permissible total mass of up to 3.5 tons they can use it let's check our answer our answer is correct and also if you are using this far and learn an app in the ebook you can find this explanation inside built up areas motor vehicles with a permissible total mass of up to 3.5 tons on carriageways with several marked lanes for one direction may freely choose the lane in this case as well you may travel faster on the right than on the left here's the explanation but important thing to learn over here is that all the vehicles who are having permissible total mass of up to 3.5 ton they may freely choose their lane whenever like you are having two or three lanes inside built up areas you are driving on a road outside a built up area with three lanes marked in each direction now you are outside built up area and there are three lanes individual slower vehicles are traveling well spaced out in the right hand lane let us assume there are trucks with trailers and they are using the right hand lane which lane may you continuously use the middle lane of course because if on your right you are having slower moving vehicles then it is a good idea to stay in the middle lane otherwise you have to overtake the vehicles again and again the left hand lane no the left hand lane can be only used if you want to overtake so if slow moving vehicles are using right hand lane then it's a good idea to stay on the middle lane our answer is correct moving towards the last question you are driving on this motorway what is the right course of action so what we see in the picture some construction is going on these are there are yellow markings so these yellow markings they have priority over the white lines because of the construction so what you have to do in this case i move into the right hand lane yes it makes sense that you should move into the right hand lane i only use the left hand lane if there is a breakdown no you should use left hand lane only when you want to overtake i remain in my current lane no you should not remain in your current lane because 
there could be vehicles who want to overtake you. So the good idea is to move into the right hand lane. Let's check the answer. Our answer is correct. Uh, so in this video, we have covered road markings and road usage. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you are interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.